Tahu Pu Tahu Pu Hello, si Father Bros Legaspi po ito Welcome to our Katok video series Mga must watch videos po ito for all Katok is short for Katolikong Talakayan at Kwentuhan Puntahan lang po ha, walang inuman At medyo masipag din po akong sumagot sa mga tanong ninyo tungkol sa buhay-buhay at lalo na tungkol sa buhay para ng palatayang katoliko. You can shoot me your questions sa facebook.com slash itanong mo kay Father. I hope to get to know you and hear from you soon. For now, welcome to this Katok episode. Give up itis is psychogenic death of a person who has lost all the will to live, despite no apparent physiological cause. Can you die by simply giving up on life? New research published in September 2018 suggests so. According to a study led by Dr. John Leach of the University of Portsmouth, psychogenic death is a very real thing. And it's happening right now, all over the world. So how can you die by just giving up the will to live? The study suggests that psychogenic death can be caused by seemingly inescapable trauma. When this happens, death becomes a rational and inevitable solution. Without proper help, a person can die in as little as three days after the first signs of withdrawal. It's important to note, however, that psychogenic death is not the same as suicide. Dr. Leach, the study's lead researcher, insists. Psychogenic death is real. It isn't suicide, it isn't linked to depression, but the act of giving up on life and dying usually within days, is a very real condition often linked to severe trauma. Motivation is essential for coping with life and if that fails, Apathy is almost inevitable. However, give up itis can be treated and reversed by different treatments during different states. There are five stages of give up itis. First stage is social withdrawal. Social withdrawal usually occurs directly after psychological trauma. This can be primarily seen with prisoners of war, seemingly withdrawing from life becoming passive, even vegetative. Other signs include lack of emotions, listlessness, self-absorption, indifference. If left unchecked, social withdrawal may lead to more serious states of psychogenic death. Second stage is apathy. Apathy or emotional death is a demoralizing sadness or melancholy. Unlike anger or frustration, this is not an active emotional state. Instead, it's a lack of self-preservation. Signs and symptoms of apathy include uncleanliness, disheveled appearance, severe melancholy, the feeling that the simplest tasks take the mightiest effort. The third stage is abulia. Abulia is the lack of willpower and the inability to make even the smallest decisions. When someone reaches this state, they lose the desire to do anything to help themselves. Even the most basic human instincts to eat and care for oneself is lost. Signs and symptoms of abulia include deeper emotional withdrawal, disinterest in eating or washing, loss of effort and initiative and lack of emotional response. The fourth stage is psychic akinesia. This is displayed when someone is conscious, but in a state of profound apathy, so much so that they are even insensitive to pain. At this stage, a person doesn't even react when being hit or subjected to torture. The lack of motivation to do anything worsens, that people even continue to lie in their own waste. Signs and symptoms of psychic akinesia include motor deficit, mental void or complete lack of thoughts, reduced effect or emotional concern, tics or physical compulsions. And the final stage is psychogenic death. 
It is when someone then gives up. They might be lying in their own excreta and nothing, no warning, no beating, no pleading can make them want to live. Once someone reaches this stage, it can be almost impossible to revive this person. Do you have give up itis? Are you in the verge of psychogenic death? Jesus gave up his spirit to the Heavenly Father that we may have life. Friend, you may be in the verge of giving up on life or losing your will to live. Reach out and touch the life-giving body of Christ on the cross, and awaken his loving grace inside you.